Jack's confronted by Ronnie as he fights for custody of little Amy. EastEnders on BBC One in half an hour, right after Watch Dog. Tonight, help, where's my pig? Has one of the companies behind the latest food fad been telling porkies? look like this when you paid hundreds of pounds for it to be properly looked after and should you be left to scrub out the bins and another fault with the mini on this one could have you dialing 999 that's watchdog tonight hello great to see you welcome to watchdog live from the office where as you can see jules is back and uh, you've been out in your worries already. I have, looking into a business that really does claim to bring home the bacon. They promise top quality meat from your very own pig delivered straight to your door. So why have some of the people who forked out hundreds of pounds received absolutely nothing? Uh, first, the customers left pig sick <laughs> by a business that hasn't delivered. These days, a pre-packed pork chop from the supermarket chilled cabinet is no longer enough. More and more of us want to know exactly where our meat comes from and that it had a happy life. So what could be better for a carnivorous foodie who wants to go the whole hog than a whole hog reared especially for you, butchered and delivered to your door, oven ready? Sounds like a great idea. So how come one company has made a right pig's ear of it? Jamie Riley loves his food. So when his wife Sam found a company called the Number One Pig Consortium offering whole pigs, it seemed like the perfect Christmas gift and she snaffled one up. We really like the idea of getting the whole thing delivered. You can choose your own rare breed and they would let you sort of follow it during its growth and so that's why we chose them. For £299 they offer to provide great pork by rearing your very own rare breed piglet until it's ready for the oven or the freezer. They boast buying a pig will never be dull with us. But it's not always straightforward either. A week before the arranged delivery date, uh, we got a phone call to say that he wasn't actually going to be delivering on that date. We reorganised um, the delivery date. When it didn't arrive again, we were told that the courier had sent it to Scotland. The response was, well, I'll deliver it myself personally. And when that didn't happen, I felt actually very, very angry uh, because we were looking forward to receiving our pig and it was just a complete letdown. I volunteered to drive up and get it and he said no don't bother coming because I've given the pig to somebody else. The Rileys were forced to settle for a refund but the number one pig consortium couldn't even deliver their money back into their bank account. We finally got a cheque, um, put it into the bank and it bounced. 18 months after placing their order the Rileys have no pig, no refund, not a sausage. So what's the company's promise of great pork? A great big porky. The number one pig consortium was founded by former PR man Neil Camp, and he certainly put a good spin on the business, boasting how his pigs eat better than most humans and spend their days messing around and enjoying life. Initially, the company got good press, but we've heard from other disgruntled customers who, like the Rileys, have had no pig and no refund. That's left Ollie Ingham pretty worried. As best man for his friend's wedding, he wanted something special for the stag do next month. So when he discovered he could order a whole pig for all their mates to feast on, he was as happy as a pig in muck. What on earth were you going to do with a whole pig? So we've got 22 hungry lads to feed, and we were going to maybe even cure some bacon, take it home in like a, you know, a party bag almost. So you wanted to do the butchering, get involved, and, and use the whole pig? Yeah. <laughs> Ollie was promised regular updates and even photos of their pig. Do you want to see photos of the pig that you were going to eat? Definitely. <laughs> Carnivorous. Well, I think the point was that we don't really like buying meat from supermarkets that you don't really know where it's come from. If we were paying this money, we wanted to know that this pig was going to have a good life and be taken care of. I set up a Facebook page so I could update all of the guys who were coming on the stag do on how our pig's progress was coming along. But he hasn't had any photos or news. And after reading about other people's problems with the company online, he's now worried that there'll be no pig for the stag. How do you feel now, guys? Really disappointed and really worried that we're going to be pigless. Though there's still time for the pig to turn up, Ollie's so concerned that despite having already spent over £300, he's now ordered a backup pig from a butcher. But does the original pig even exist? We thought we'd get the update that Ollie's never been sent by the company. 
So I've come to the farm in North Yorkshire where they're supposedly based. This is the last known address that we have for the company. It looks quite empty. Not a speck of furniture. I don't think there's anyone making bacon. Not a whiff of pig. They've definitely moved on. Neil Camp was only renting this farm and he's certainly not here anymore. While some customers have been told that they will still get their pigs, he's told others the business has been sold. The website talks about other work commitments that can't be ignored, some of them overseas. He seems to have made himself scarce, and no one that we've spoken to has seen hide nor hair of his pigs either. We've no idea how many porkers the number one pig consortium has actually supplied, but we know of plenty it hasn't. Will all these people waiting ever get the meat they paid for? Maybe. Or pigs might fly. <laughs> well, it might be, Jules. Listen, we have tried every phone number and email address we can possibly find for the number one pig consortium and for the man behind it, Neil Camp, but no response to any of our questions. No, we haven't had a single peep. He seems to have disappeared, though he does very occasionally surface to promise customers that they will get their orders. Overall, though, it is not looking good. No, it's not. And if you can shed any light on what's going on, perhaps you've seen Mr. Cam or any of his pigs, <laughs> do get in touch. Meanwhile, other companies do offer the same thing. Thing is, I was just thinking, 300 quid for a few pork chops. Is that a good deal? Well, actually, it isn't bad. If you do end up with the meat from an entire hand-reared rare breed pig, it isn't a bad price. Uh, if it, uh, it comes all frozen, and if you compare it with what you pay in a supermarket, the numbers do make sense. But certainly, we have heard from some butchers who've told us that they could provide a whole pig for a whole lot less. Food for thought.